Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Lord, you are marvelous, yeah. marvelous, yeah. you are marvelous, yeah. awesome God, you are awesome, yeah. you are awesome God, you are awesome, yeah. awesome God, you are awesome God, welcome everybody, welcome everybody. Welcome, God bless you. Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Makata bashun tiki de bradusha. Mazu brande kete masun tele balusha. Thank you, Jesus. Ma like you and do share if you can. Makala brane kete bradushi katala braya. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, oh glorious God, we bless your name and we lay our crowns just to worship you. Oh glorious Jesus, I bless your name and I lay my crown just to worship you. Hallelujah. Kaba ba 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 sulinde de 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 bosha. We bless you, Lord. You are holy, and forever you are God. Thank you, Jesus. Just appreciate the name of the Lord if you can. Appreciate the name of the Lord if you can. Ma konte bradusi ke tele bradusi kataya baya. Mo son te brede shina na 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 kosa brede kete lebea. If you're tuning in for this session today, just say, Lord, I thank you for the privilege to be in your presence. You're not just watching a video, you're following a service. We are gathered here in the presence of the Lord. The Bible says in his presence there is liberty and there is fullness of joy. In the presence of the Lord, nothing is impossible. In the presence of the Lord. So this is not just a video that you're watching on YouTube. You are actually in the presence of the Lord. Yes, we are connecting at different times, morning, afternoon, evening, in different countries. But we are in the presence of the Lord. I just want you to lift up your voice if you can and say, Father, I thank you for the privilege to be in your presence. Say, Lord, I thank you for the privilege to be in your presence. Can you just make that prayer with me, somebody? It's a privilege to be in God's presence. It's a privilege to be in God's presence. Begin to appreciate the Lord. Makata brande kesila. We thank you, Lord. We appreciate you. We are grateful. It's a privilege to be in your presence, and we say thank you. Are there believers here who are grateful to Jesus? Are there believers here who are grateful to Jesus? Just begin to appreciate it. Kendereboshikata. Do I have grateful believers in here? Do I have grateful believers in here? Begin to appreciate the Lord, somebody. Mason teke di bradi shikata labaya. Erra baba basi leke nteko subrada. Meke te bebebe subrande ke shibladesha. Me la kondoro brila katea. Begin to appreciate the Lord. Meke teke si bala baba basi ke telebrunda. 
Eke de bobo bobo subra de kalia. Begin to appreciate him. Begin to appreciate him. I see all of you that are tuning in right now. Begin to appreciate him. Say, Lord, I thank you for the privilege to be in your presence. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Mason te te ke te bo 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 shikata la bradada. Ike de be 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 shubrande de de koshibada. Erra ba 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 shikende bo bo sulada da da. Irra ba ba shinene ne ko subradi shatada. Erra ba 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 sine ke shibrada. Begin to appreciate the Lord somebody. Makrunde ko shibranda da kasi bladesha. Ikrondo do bo bo shiblana na kasi branda. Mekende brende ke de bosua. Ika da ba 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 shikete bo shukada. Eke de 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 bo shina na 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 ko subada. Igrondo bo 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 shira da 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 ba ba ba. Eke de bo 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 shibra da 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 sible de de de. Ika la balasa ina tone ne kende bre. We bless you, Lord, you are holy, and forever you are God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Father, we are grateful. Makrunde ke si bradisha, Lord, we are grateful. Mason tene nene konto brika li bradisha, Lord, we are grateful. E yala sone nene kosha, we bless you, Jesus, we bless your name. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped with thanksgiving. God bless you, everyone that is tuning in for this session. It's a special session. It's a special session. And you're going to know why soon. It's a special, special session. God bless you, my G7. God bless you, Herbert Sliva. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Herbert, for the birthday wish. My birthday is in 30 minutes. Yeah, I think so. This is birthday Eve. In about 24 minutes. <laughs> Lisa Gempu, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Lakia Scott, God bless you. Luya Harrison, God bless you. TM Lawrence, God bless you. God bless you, Lisa Gempu. God bless you, Rochelle Baptiste. God bless you. God bless you. Siko Iskia. <laughs> God bless you. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Ma kote ba sune ne ke shibra ne ke silantere ba shubra dea. Ma subre ne ke tila brade ke debosha. Oh, Iskia, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful. Oh Lord, for all you have done for us, hallelujah, we are grateful, oh Lord. I just want you to thank God. Remember three things that God has done or he's doing and thanking. This is the key to your great miracle. I feel that in my spirit so strong. Like one of the keys to unlock this great miracle that is coming your way is thanksgiving and gratitude. Thanksgiving and gratitude. The Bible says that Jesus, when he was faced with 5,000 people, you know, Jesus was a human being like you and me. When he was on earth, he was 100% God, 100% human. We're going to explain that on a different day. The Bible says that there were 5,000, 5,000 people in front of him and you know, if you were in that state, at some point you will be on that pressure. What am I going to do with these people? How am I going to manage them? They have not eaten. When Jesus saw the five loaves of bread and two fish, the Bible says he gave thanks. And when he gave thanks, there was multiplication. That's the first thing that happens. There was increase, multiplication, and an overflow. I don't know, but God is about to increase someone. God is about to multiply what he has given you. And God is about to cause an overflow in your harvest. Iskia, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God is about to. Is someone, if you are prophetic and you're watching me right now, you will connect yourself. All you have to do is to open up and just appreciate it. Just appreciate it. I know you have a long list of prayer requests. 
God is going to answer all of them. Just think about at least three things that God has done and appreciate him. And appreciate him. Just appreciate him from your heart. I don't want you to say, Father, I thank you, but I'm still praying for no. Just pour out your heart to him. God is looking at your heart right now. He's looking at the state of your heart. And I believe that these three things he's doing for you as you appreciate him. Just appreciate him. I don't know why I'm getting this prophetic instruction. Maybe because I've been in a mood of gratitude, you know, just thanking God for everything he has done for me for the past years. As I prepare to enter this new age and the spirit of God is leading me to take you through this process. Just appreciate him. Three things are going to happen as you appreciate God. There's going to be an increase. There's going to be multiplication. And there is going to be an overflow. The confirmation from the script for, for this word is coming from the scripture in the book of Matthew where Jesus prayed. The Bible says he, there were just five loaves of bread. When you read Bible stories, it's not something that was just written. It's a real life experience. It happened. So Jesus is there. This is five loaves of bread and two fish. And he just believes that God will hear him and God will answer. Then he begins to appreciate God. Then he begins to appreciate God. He says, Father, thank you. He begins to appreciate him. He begins to appreciate him. And what happened when he appreciated? There was an increase. There was a multiplication and there was an overflow. Some of you don't need God to do something new in your life. You just need God to multiply what he has already done. Some of you don't need God to do something new in your life. You just need him to multiply what he has already done. I want you by faith to pray today and I just appreciate him. You don't even need to make any prayer. Just pour out your heart to him. Say, Father, thank you. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my spouse. Thank you for the gift of life. I sleep and I wake up every morning. Thank you for traveling mercies that you give me every day. Thank you for the connection that you gave me to this ministry, for the empowerment, spiritual empowerment. Thank you for friends or colleagues. I don't know what you're grateful for. Just begin to appreciate them. As your thanksgiving goes up to heaven, God that multiplies the gifts of man will multiply everything that he is giving you. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes you don't just need more money. You just need multiplication on the one that you already have. Financially, God will multiply you. In the name of Jesus, there shall be an overflow of blessing. There shall be an overflow of blessing. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says after the people had eaten, there was an overflow. There were leftovers. There were leftovers. I am releasing the leftover anointing. The leftover anointing. You can call it the most more than enough anointing upon somebody that is connected to this session today upon somebody that is listening to my voice today i am releasing the more than enough anointing this is an anointing that comes upon you and god doesn't just give you what you need he gives you more than enough at the end of the day you say lord I have enough money. I have done everything I wanted to do. What else can I do with the money? And God says, give it to the poor. And God says, build a hospital. And God says, just, you're like, God, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? This guy, God bless you for your sin. More than enough level of anointing is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, I release that anointing upon you. I release that anointing upon you. In the name of Jesus, I want you to type and declare, say, I receive. Say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Men operate in different dimensions of the anointing. Men operate in different dimensions of the anointing. If you see someone enjoying something in their lives, if you see someone that has been blessed, to an extent. That's someone that is operating in a certain level of anointing. And today by the leading of the spirit. 
I am releasing upon you the anointing for more than enough. I know you just want money for rent. I know you're just praying for money for survival. But that is not going to be your level. Because you joined this session today. God is launching you to a new realm of more than enough. In the name of Jesus. A kappa to a naunga brood. A santo la patuske italapai. A rampa to the libra tishohoi. Masunta nega baya. That anointing comes upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. That anointing comes upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Begin to tap and say, I receive it. Just tap and say, I receive it. Connect yourself to this word. E kapa no suntele i kadubra. Me subranda katule bosha. There was a man in the Bible called Abraham. He went to battle and got spoils. He got a lot of cattle and a lot of things. Then he came back and met a man called Metisedek. He says, take everything so that it will not be said you, make, you made Abraham rich. I have. Oh, which, which other story can I tell you so that you believe this word? The Bible says that when Jacob was going to meet his brother Esau, he had so many gifts for his brother because he had betrayed his brother before and stole, stole his blessing. So Jacob is coming to meet Esau to ask for forgiveness. So he has gifts for Esau. But when he meets Esau, Esau says, keep your gifts. I have more than enough. I have more than enough. I have more than enough. There is a possibility for you to enjoy all-round settlement. There is a possibility for you to enjoy peace in every aspect of your life. And God has given us just one instruction this morning, this night, whatever time you're watching. It says, pour out your heart to him in gratitude. Pour out your heart to him in thanksgiving. Just appreciate him. Just appreciate him. Just appreciate him. As you begin to appreciate the Lord, just you can take three days of thanksgiving. You can just say, I'm taking three days of thanksgiving. No complaints, no prayer requests, just appreciation. Three days of thanksgiving. Every day, write down the things you want to thank God for. I did that for about one week. Every day, I have something I'm appreciating God for. For the first day, I can appreciate God for the gift of family. Second day, the gift of life and loved ones. Third day, the gift of ministry. and the gift. I keep appreciating God for one thing every day, prayer of thanksgiving. One to take three days, no complaints, no requests, just appreciation. Just pour out yourself to God in appreciation and you will see what will happen. I believe so strong. And I have spoken, if you see the title of this word, I wrote it there, something big is about to happen. If you have been following these sessions for a while, there's a time I gave a teaching about how God answers prayers. Some of you can still remember that teaching on how God answers prayers. And one of the ways I said that sometimes when you pray to God for an answer, he gives you an instruction. So after praying to God, be keen to the instructions that he will give you. Because it is your obedience to these instructions that will guarantee your miracle. Because your, your, your miracle is on the other side of your obedience. Listen, the Bible says in the book of John, the popular story where Jesus turned water into wine. Mary comes to Jesus and says, wine is finished. They don't have wine. And Jesus said, what should I do about it? Then Mary understood that God, Jesus, answers prayer in this manner. So he turns to the, she turns to the mates and tells them, whatever he tells you to do, do it. And just the way she predicted, or maybe she had already known that that's what happened. Jesus turns to them and says, fill the jars with water. If they had refused to fill the jars with water, they would have never seen wine. We don't know when the miracle happened. 
Is it when they carried the water? Is it when they were pouring it to the, into the jar? Or when they were removing it from the jar? But water turned into wine because a group of people obeyed an instruction. They didn't... What does it mean? You need a logical explanation to anything. No. Most instructions from God cannot be logically explained. Just believe this word. Just take three days of thanksgiving, Leah Harrison. Three days of thanksgiving, Penny. Three days of thanksgiving. For day one, write down everything you're appreciating God for. Day two, write down everything. Throughout that day, just begin to thank Him. Be in the mood of thanksgiving. You will see how the heavens will burst open over your life. You will see how good and great things will begin to happen. You will see how some miracles that you were praying for, that you thought you would not see, will begin to happen. You will see this happen. I want you to believe this word. I want you to believe this word. I want you to believe this word. There shall be an increase in your life. In the name of Jesus, everyone under the sound of my voice, that you're watching this now or you're watching a rebroadcast, there shall be an increase. From today, you will experience an increase. God will confirm this word in your life. There will be an increase. Then someone watching me right now will be wearing something red. I don't know if it's like a jacket or a pullover. But it's something red. You're wearing something red. I saw someone just sitting and watching and you're wearing something red. And this word is a confirmation to you. There's about to be an increase in your life. In the name of Jesus. There's about to be an increase. In the name of Jesus. God of multiplication will multiply your harvest. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says at the time when there was drought, Isaac planted and harvested a hundredfold because God was with him. In the time of political crisis and socioeconomic downward movement, however they call it in your country, because God is with you, all you will know is increase. In the name of Jesus. I want you to declare with me, say, I am moving from one level to another, from glory to glory. Declare this word with me, say, I am moving from one level to the other, from glory to glory. I am moving from one level to the other, from glory to glory. One other thing that will happen as you appreciate God is that he will fight for you and he will defeat your enemies. There is a king in the Bible called Hezekiah. He, re he received so many threats from his enemies. They told him they were going to kill him and destroy him. Sent him several warnings. But every time they sent a warning, he, was, he, he didn't show them that he was afraid. Instead, he ran to his prayer place. And I took note of the words that he used in prayer. The Bible says he will first of all praise and acknowledge God and appreciate God before he starts talking about what the enemy is doing. And God fought his battles for him. As you take these three days, you obey this spiritual instruction, this divine instruction, and you take three days of thanksgiving, you will see your enemies go down. You are moving from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, there is someone watching me right now. You are breaking off from family limitation. I saw someone tight. And the Spirit of God tells me it is family limitation. Family limitation. And God is setting you free. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. The Lord opened my eyes in the realm of the Spirit. And I saw someone standing like this. Standing just tied up, tied up. The person was tied up. And the Lord said that is family limitation. God is setting you free. In the name of Jesus, you are breaking forth. You are breaking forth. 
that limitation that has held you bound, that has held you captive, you are breaking forth in the name of Jesus. How do you know that this word is for you? Your life is almost like your mother's life. It's like a repetition of what happened to your mother. You're seeing it happening in your life. And God is saying it's a family limitation. You're breaking off in the name of Jesus. I command the chains to break. I command the chains to break. I command the chains to break. In the name of Jesus. Declare with me, say break in the name of Jesus. Every chain, when I say every chain, just say break in the name of Jesus. Do you understand? Anything I say now, I want you to just say break in the name of Jesus. Say it and type it. Just flow with me. Flow with me. Just say break in the name of Jesus. 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 Every barrier that has held you bound, break in the name of Jesus. Every limitation that has kept you on the same place, break in the name of Jesus. Every demonic chain that has kept you bound, break in the name of Jesus. Kept you in sickness and in pain, break in the name of Jesus. Say, break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Elapana masi brede kesha. Masi branda dana koshi brade. Maso brande kete bobo su brade. Me kete banana nana kosa. Say, break in the name of Jesus. Financial chains, break in the name of Jesus. Elapa bano su brade. I see someone. They swore that you will not get married. They swore that you will not get married. Tie the wedding ring in a certain place that you will not get married. It is broken in the name of Jesus. That chain is broken in the name of Jesus. Whatever curse has been working against your life, break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. You're breaking forth from family limitation. Esunte katu bradisha, manto koto koto briki ti babata kosku bradisha, masunte teli shin taraba, le sunte tete reba ba sunte leketia, era ba 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 serere kosha, era ba mana no no kosunte le le kosa. God is setting you free. God is setting you free. I command that chain to break. I command that chain to break. In the name of Jesus, the chain of barrenness. Break in the name of Jesus. The chain of financial backwardness. Break in the name of Jesus. That chain of sickness. Break in the name of Jesus. Ekanta papa so telebosha. Messi prana na 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 kosha. Meke te 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 brundasia. Makoto kosku brende keshia. Messu brende de keshila kata. There's someone you are four of you in your family. I see the Lord setting you free. Eken debo subran de de koshi brade. Me subran na 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 kosha. Someone watching me right now. I see four of you in your family. God is setting this family free. In the name of Jesus. If it is you, just confirm the word. Confirm the word. Eka mama ma son telebe shukre de de koshi kata. Me son te nene konta briti ki si bradesha. E rapa ma so telebe de kusi tale. E rapa pa na to ne ke skupra ne ke tikata. Me subra ne ke dina brade ko zubra desha. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I see someone's eyes tight in the realm of the spirit. And your eyes represent vision. And if you cannot see what you cannot see, you cannot possess. So there has been an attack on your sight. There has been an attack on your sight. It's not physically, but you don't see. Ah, this is, this is not physical blindness. But there has been an attack on your sight in the realm of the spirit. Before you know it, an opportunity that would have changed your life has already passed. There are good things that come, but you don't see it. Other people beside you get to benefit and you're like, how did I not know this? How did I not see it? I saw something like a spiritual.
spiritual blindfold. I remove it right now in the name of Jesus. I remove it right now in the name of Jesus. I remove it right now in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual blindfold is removed in the name of Jesus. I remove it right now in the name of Jesus. I commanded a kinima kundi ki di brada si kete bosha. E raba baba son te kete bosu bradesha. Ma sole le le kosu bradea. Me su branda da da kasha. Hey, you know, after Samson's head was shaved in the Bible. After Samson's hair was cut, the Bible says they removed his eyes. Because they know the power of vision. If you can only see the things, you can possess them. The Bible says, Jesus, God calls Abraham and says, look, as far as you can see, you will possess. The Bible also says there was a lady called Haggai. Haggai was Sarah's maid who had a child for Abraham. And Sarah sent her away. So she's in the desert. And everywhere, she, it, it seems as though she's going to die because there is no help, there is no provision. Everything she had is finished. The Bible says an angel of the Lord opened her eyes and she saw water. The Bible didn't say water appeared. They were, the water was there, but she could not see because she was blind in the spirit. The angel of the Lord opened her eyes and she saw her. Some of you are in that same position right now. And you're crying to God out of frustration. And there are opportunities that God is sending your way. There are opportunities, people that is, God is sending your way for marriage. There are opportunities for business, for blessing. But you cannot see it. You cannot see it. But that ends today. In the name of Jesus. That ends today. That ends today. In the name of Jesus. I command that blindfolding off i command your eyes to open in the name of jesus you've been thinking god hasn't been answering your prayers but the answer has been standing in front of you but you couldn't see it ah have you ever been looking for something that is right in front of you you come back like how did i not see it Maybe you're, you're, you're praying to God for a kingdom, for kingdom marriage, for a kingdom spouse, a husband and a wife. And God has sent somebody to you, but you just can see them. Oh, you are the one God has sent into another person's life, but the people just can see it. Blindness. Blindness. It, it ends today. In the name of Jesus. It ends today. In the name of Jesus. It ends today in the name of Jesus. It ends today in the name of Jesus. Mako de brandu si brande shakata la baya. Meson te kete bo su brande ke la baba ba shikradesha. God is setting you free. God is setting you free. God is setting you free. In the name of Jesus. I see your confirmation to the prophetic word. God is setting you free. In the name of Jesus, this is two minutes past 12 a.m. here. So it's already my birthday. I learned that blessings are words released from a good heart. This first hour of my birthday, I want to release words of blessings upon your life. God will favor you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will bless you. I pray that the Lord will increase you. I pray that the Lord will multiply the gifts that he has given you, the provision, the blessings upon your life. In the name of Jesus, I choose to begin this day with you with the word of blessing. 
there will be a blessing that God will do for you today. That you will come back to remember that this is the prayer that gave me that blessing. It was on Lady Visa's birthday that I received the prayer that is giving me this miracle. My testimony is tied to this day. Father, from the bottom of my heart, I pray. Everyone that is under the sound of my voice right now, you will give them, honor my word, honor my voice by giving them a testimony, a miracle that they will ever, forever be grateful for. In the name of Jesus, I appreciate God for answer prayer, somebody. Thank you, thank you for the birthday wishes, oh my God. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your prayers, thank you for the wishes, thank you, thank you. Amen, amen, Reverend Lawrence, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you for your prayers, thank you for your wishes, thank you for your gifts, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lock Lock. Lock Lock has been wishing me happy birthday since last week. <laughs> it's finally today, and I am grateful to God. I'm grateful to God. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Naz. Thank you, Amen, Amen, Amen. Thank you, Jonathan Johnson, Amen, Amen. More of him, less of me, I connect your seat to this word in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for a new day, for a new dawn in my life, for a new age, for a new opportunity. Thank you, Patricia. Love you too. God bless you. Amen, T.M. Lawrence. Thank you so much. Mm. Amen. We hear me now. Hi, Kita. <laughs> I don't know if I got the name well, forgive me. Thank you for your gift. Thank you. Thank you, Tiada. Thank you. Thank you, Tiada Smith. Thank you, everybody. Can you just appreciate God for my life? Just appreciate God for my life. Oh, Iskia, thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you for your gift. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa Kempu. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen, Rochelle. Amen. Father, thank you for my life. Love you too, Nakia Scott. Thank you. Beautiful family. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm thankful to God that I'm starting this new age with all of you. I'm grateful to Jesus. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you, Lock Lock. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Love you too, Patricia. Oh, Iskia, thank you. Amen, Lisa Gempu. Amen. Amen, Rochelle Baptiste. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm encouraged. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you all for your gifts. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your prayers. God bless you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Amen. Authentic or nothing ministries. Thank you for my birthday gift. Wow. <laughs> I'm feeling so loved. I'm, I'm almost crying. <laughs> ah, people should not make me cry, please. <clears throat> wow. Oh, Patricia, you want to send me a gift on paper? I think I pinned the information on the group. It's my email. LadyRisa1 at gmail.com That's my paper, LadyRisa1 at gmail.com Thank you so much, family. Thank you. I feel so loved. I feel encouraged. I feel... You know, sometimes when I sit behind the camera, I'm like, I'm not going to go live today. I'm so tired. Or I'm not feeling... You know, I don't know. I remember your love. I remember your encouraging words. 
I remember all the things that you say and I will not forget this. Trust me. I will not forget this love you're showing towards me and I will. I'm encouraged. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. In every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love you, Lord. For your mercies never fail me All my days I've been blessing your word From the moment that I wake up Till I lay my head I will sing Of the goodness of God For all my life you have been faithful all my life you have been so, so good. In every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. Lord of my life, you have been so, so good. In every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Iskia. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lisa Gimpo. Thank you. God has been good to me. God has been faithful to me. <laughs> I'm grateful. Amen. Amen, Kiria Lee. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your love. Thank you for joining me to celebrate this new age. God bless you, my G7. Thank you for your gifts. I'm going to use all of this to buy myself a birthday cake. <laughs> and those of you who follow the second channel that I have, uh, Lady Visa's Diary, I'm going to tell you everything that happened on my birthday. <laughs> I don't know if anything is going to happen. I just want to wake up in the morning. I have a program at the TV station. I go to the TV station, then I go to work. Then I go out for evangelism. In the evening, I don't have much on my program. <laughs> so, but I'm definitely going to get a cake with your gift. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I love you all so much. I'm going to rebroadcast this session tomorrow. <clears throat> Okay, Patricia, my PayPal account is my email address. I don't know if you get it. My PayPal account is my email address. So just 
use ladyrisa1 at gmail.com that's my paypal account that's my paypal account patricia i don't know if that's okay and my paypal account is connected so if i'm going to see every transaction unlike my cash up account that i get to see after some time paypal i will see immediately yes so the paypal account is my email address thank you for your gifts in advance thank you for me <clears throat> i love it i don't feel like going anywhere I wish I could just sit here and we talk and <sighs> but I need to get some rest. I still have some one or two things to do before I go to bed, so oh clothing is giving you a direction on how to do that. I love you all, family. Can we just appreciate God one more time? Please don't forget. The first time I gave us a spiritual instruction, an instruction I said, just study about what it means to be under open heavens. Some people responded. I want you to just obey. Even if it doesn't make sense to you, just obey. Say the next three days will be your three days of thanksgiving. The first day, write down everything you're going to be thanking God about. You can put it on the on a telegram group so that we help you appreciate God with you however you want it to be. The second day, right the next, the third day, right the next. I don't know what God is about to do, but it's going to be huge. It's going to be big. Just obey and see what God will do. If you want to join the telegram group, that's the link. Thank you, Clovin Baptiste. And if this was your first time on this channel, we love you. God bless you. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, share. And by the grace of God, I will see you again tomorrow. How many of us follow the rebroadcast of the sessions? After every live session, I do premiere again. How many of us still follow the premiere? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's necessary? Does it give you an opportunity to pray again? So that I know if I should continue with it. Is it good? Do you follow it? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's necessary? Let me know. All my life you have been faithful. All my life. Okay, you did, Patricia. Okay. That's good. So that even when you miss a live session, you can always catch up. Okay, I'm glad that it is. So, okay. This same session, I'm going to premiere it tomorrow, maybe by 1 p.m. West African time, and I'll be watching it with all of us. I love you, family. I'll see you tomorrow by the grace of God. Shalom.